Hi. In this video, I'm shooting the Savage 110, a 223 Remington. And I just got done shooting with the Peak Performance 75 grain boat tail hollow point. But I'm down to like my last 500 rounds of that and I'm not buying any more because the company has, uh, well, they basically ripped me off uh, for almost $300. I put an order in last July and I still haven't got it. It's February now. And that's happening to a lot of people. So I do not recommend buying from Peak Performance, which is St. George, Utah. So anyway, a couple months ago, I was able to pick up 500 rounds of the PPU, and that's the, the Prince Prevzi sound. And I know I, I'm botching that completely, but we're just gonna call it PPU. Hollow Point Boat Tail 75 grain ammo. So, um, if you watched the video where this one broke, I'd actually just shot two rounds of this when it broke. So now I'm gonna try, I got four rounds loaded in the mag. I'm still set up at the 75, or excuse me, 500 yard line with my eight inch little gong out there. And I'm gonna see how this shoots compared to the peak performance. I'm hoping it's gonna be roughly the same. Uh, so I don't have to change too much on my, my little uh, dope sheet. Got my target out there. There we go. Uh, wind's coming from the left a little bit, so I'm going to aim off a little bit to the left. Hopefully, I'm judging it right. And it looked like it was low and right. So I'm going to come up three, three clicks, which um, 500 yards, what is that? Uh, so it's one eighth inch per click at 100. So five eighths, roughly an inch and a half. I'm gonna go four. So now I'm a little over two inches higher. Um, MOA, I'm not sure, what, what is that? I don't, I'll figure it out later and put it in the video. So this stuff, maybe not as fast in velocity. That was a hit. So yeah, not too bad. I can live with that. I still got a lot of uh, turret elevation too for when I go out to a thousand yards again. Now it still looks like I'm hitting around the bottom of the, of the gong. I'm actually going to go up two more. We'll see where this puts us. And the wind's still coming from the left. So I'm aiming to touch off the left side. And I got it, but I didn't see where I got it at. But I got it, so that's that's the important thing. Oh, I didn't see that one. Damn, I didn't get it, but I didn't see the dust or nothing. So well, that kind of sucks. Um, I, hopefully the camera will have picked it up. So, uh, I think that's it for that. Uh, I'll be right back. I got some other ammo I'm going to try. Okay, so now I got some reloaded 69 grain uh, Boto hollow point from Freedom Munitions, and I believe they're out of Spokane, Washington, if I remember correctly. I got this a couple, three months ago, and I haven't shot none yet. It comes in these little 50 round boxes. And I was able to get like 500 rounds of this too. So, so right now I'm still at the plus six over 
because uh, it, it was set for the peak performance, 75 grain. I just shot the PPU 75 grain. I had to elevate it by six more clicks to get on target. So I'm gonna see where this goes and then adjust it accordingly. Windage looks good on it, so. Oh, on the, the PPU. But let's see where this is going. Okay, I'm gonna aim basically the same spot, a little left because I got a little wind from the left out there. And that shot high, look at that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten. So I'm gonna come down 10 clicks at 1 8 inch per click for at 100 yards. So that's 5 8 at this distance. See if my guessing is, is right. right. That target's like 8 inches out there. But the windage did look good on it. A little canted. I did not see that one either. What the hell? Uh, can't wait for it to warm up and get a spotter out here again. You think that dirt is so soft up there you'd get a little bit of dust. Okay, the wind looks like it's not from the left no more. It looks like it's from behind me. So I'm going to aim dead on. Okay, so I think I might have missed the wind last time that it changed again. And I might have hit just to the left. Hopefully the camera was able to pick it up better than obviously me because I'm having to fight to get back on target. But um, that one, even though I got one click left on the turret, the windage turret, um, I was aiming dead on. So that seemed to work pretty good. Uh, wind is, uh, looks like it's a touch left still coming from the left, but not. Hard to tell, I'm trying to watch that ribbon. It's gotten behind that bar and it's hard to see. So I'm gonna aim like uh, one quarter off the left, or just in the left edge. Like split the center to the left edge and aim there. And I missed, and I couldn't tell exactly where. I did see some dust come up right behind it. So I'm not sure exactly where I missed that. I'm going to try um, four more rounds. But it's all really close. And for this target shooting, um, that's good enough for me at the moment. Because um, my, my so-called dope sheet that I just, I just have a generic, you know, elevation. How many, where I have to set to go up. Um, I don't have like temperatures, elevations metric pressure, humidity, uh, what direction I'm shooting. So it's just, it's just to get me close for the first couple of shots until I can walk it into where my actual target is. Okay, looks like the wind died down again, at least the direction. So I'm gonna aim kind of dead on. That seemed to work. But yeah, I, I'm not going to complain one bit. Everything looks like it's really good. The three different types of ammo, I don't got a wide variation between them. So that's good. That was, that was, that was more me. I kind of, I screwed up that shot. This trigger is so light, uh, as soon as you touch it, it can go off. It's, it's so light. And I wasn't being careful enough. I 
Okay, last shot. Watch me screw it up, but oh well. I'm doing okay for today, I think. Got her. Both still stiff on this thing. But I only got maybe 50 rounds. Well, no, probably about 75, 80 rounds to it so far. <laughs> and we were empty. Yeah, um, I wanted to try the other ammo in it to compare it with the Peak Performance, which is what I've been, you know, started shooting it with. Because I am going to run out of that stuff eventually, and then I'm going to have to move to the other ammo. So um, I wanted to see how much I needed to adjust. And it doesn't look like I'm going to have to adjust a lot. It's really nice at 500 yards, which in theory should translate to the rest of the yardages, I, I would think. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching.